every NBA team's highest paid player, 2021. It's no secret that NBA stars can make a lot of money. The average salary for an NBA player is in around an enormous $7.7 million. As the league's salary cap continues to increase every year, the potential for lucrative salaries grows higher. If you want to know who's earning top dollar on each NBA franchise, you've come to the right place. Let's get right into the highest paid NBA players in 2021. But before we get started with today's video, don't forget to at number 10, we have Clay Thompson. Clay Alexander Thompson is an American professional basketball player who plays for the Golden State Warriors of the NBA. He's credited as one of the greatest shooters in NBA history, and it was not surprising to see them offering him a contract worth $190 million for a period of five years. His net worth is a whopping $35.36 million. Clay Thompson hasn't played a game since suffering an ACL tear in Game 6 of the NBA Finals last year. While he says he'd love to play this season, there's no doubt the Warriors will be careful not to bring one of their star players back onto the court until he's ready. At number 9, we have Paul George. Paul George is an American professional basketball player for the Los Angeles Clippers of NBA. He is a six-time NBA All-Star and five-time member of the All-NBA team, as well as a four-time member of the NBA All-Defensive team. His net worth is $35.45 million. Paul George's name and character have been very meme-friendly during the latest NBA playoffs. He is still a hell of a player, and he's got a four-year extension worth $190 million. At number eight, we have Blake Griffin. Next on the list of highest paid NBA players is Blake Griffin. He is an American professional basketball player and, and plays for the Detroit Pistons of NBA. Griffin made his NBA debut as a rookie fo in the following season in which he was selected as an all-star, won the NBA slam dunk contest, and was named the NBA Rookie of the Year. Blake Griffin's net worth is estimated to be around $36.81 million. Blake Griffin has signed a five-year deal with the Clippers, but in six months later, the team traded him to Detroit. Basketball is ruthless. At number seven, we have Kevin Durant. Kevin Wayne Durant is also known simply by his initials KD, is an American professional basketball player for the Brooklyn Nets of the National Basketball Association. He's won two NBA championships, an NBA Most Valuable Player Award, two Finals MVP awards. His net worth is $39.05 million. KD famously tried to come back in Game 5 of the 2019 NBA Finals, which proved to be a mistake. His calf injury hasn't fully healed, and he suffered the worst leg injury for basketball players. Since KD was arguably the best basketball player in the world at the time, he was going to be offered the max contract from every team in the league. Durant chose to sign with the Nets, who, who will pay him $39 million this season, hoping he'll bring them their first NBA championship. At number 6, we have LeBron James. LeBron James is an American professional basketball player for the Los Angeles Lakers of the National Basketball Association. Widely considered one of the greatest NBA players in history, James is frequently compared to Michael Jordan in debates over the greatest basketball player of all time. Playing for the Cleveland Cavaliers, Miami Heat, and Los Angeles Lakers, James is the only player in NBA history to have won NBA championships with three franchises as finals MVP. His net worth is $39.22 million but he's been the highest paid player in the league only once, despite taking some pay cuts to form a big three in Miami. The man known as the King is still paid like one. He will earn almost 40 million in 2021. He just signed a lucrative two-year extension that will keep him in LA until his oldest son is eligible to get drafted into the NBA. At number five, we have James Harden. James Edward Harden Jr. is an American professional basketball player for the Brooklyn Nets of the National Basketball Association. He's one of the NBA's most prolific scorers and earned recognition as the best shooting guard in the NBA, as well as one of the top overall players in the league. He is an eight-time NBA All-Star and has earned all NBA team honors seven times, including six first-team selections. His net worth is estimated nearly $41.25 million. James Harden is a basketball savant. He is an artist, and the way he dances with the basketball and his step-back threes hasn't been seen before going to retire as one of the best scorers ever. The Beard will earn a net worth of $41 million this season as part of his deal he negotiated with the Rockets in 2017. At number four, we have John Wall. Jonathan Wall is an American professional basketball player for the Houston Rockets of the National Basketball Association. A Raleigh, North Carolina native, Wall was chosen with the first overall pick of the 2010 NBA Draft by the Washington Wizards after playing one year of college basketball for the Kentucky Wildcats. John Wall net worth is estimated $41.25 million. Unfortunately, the Supermax deal, which started in 2019, proved to be arguably the most worst spent money in NBA history. Considering Wall suffered an Achilles injury and hasn't suited up for the Wizards since December of 2018, 
just when he was going to get ready for the fresh start this season. He got traded to Houston, who will pay $41 million for his services, $44 million in the season after, and a whopping $47 million in 2023. At number three, we have Chris Paul. Christopher Emmanuel Paul is an American professional basketball player for the Phoenix Suns of the National Basketball Association. He has won the NBA Rookie of the Year Award and NBA All-Star Game Most Valuable Player Award, two Olympic gold medals, and led the NBA in assists four times and steals a record eight times. He has also been selected to 10 NBA All-Star teams, nine All-NBA teams, and nine NBA All-Defensive teams. His estimated net worth is $41.35 million. Many people, including myself, were surprised that Chris Paul has signed a deal that would pay him in excess of $44 million. He's still one of the best point guards in the league. At number two, we have Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook is an American professional basketball player for the Washington Wizards of the NBA. He's a nine-time NBA All-Star and earned the NBA Most Valuable Player Award for the 2016-17 season. He is also an eight-time All-NBA team member, led the league in scoring in 2014-15 and 16-17, and won back-to-back NBA All-Star Most Valuable Player Awards in 2015 and 2016. His net worth is estimated $41.35 million. In 2017, he signed a five-year, $205 million Supermax contract running from 2018 through 19 through 2022 through 23. Westbrook earns a huge $5 million from endorsements alone. Although he has trimmed back his endorsements in recent years, Nike represents the overwhelming bulk of his sponsorship income. But the Dribble Double machine has built a robust car dealership portfolio with 10 dealerships in Southern California. At number one, we have Stephen Curry. The highest paid NBA player in the world is Stephen Curry. Wardell Stephen Curry is an American basketball professional player for the Golden State Warriors and the National Basketball Association. Many analysts and players have called him the greatest shooter in NBA history. He's credited with revolutionizing the game of basketball by inspiring teams to regularly utilize the three-point shot. A six-time NBA All-Star, Curry has been named NBA Most Valuable Player twice and has won three NBA championships with the Warriors. His net worth is estimated the most high in 2021, which is $43 million. For the fourth year in a row, the highest paid NBA player is Wardell Stephen Curry. This is the result of the Supermax contracts Curry signed in 2017. After his second title with the Warriors, Curry signed the first Supermax deal in the NBA. His contract is approximately $200 million in total value. So that brings us to the ends of today's video. Which of these highest NBA players is your favorite? Tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching.